Welcome back guys. This was a little bit of an interesting ride here and we're going to be taking it down the road. It's a 2001 model S10 pickup with a LS motor in it. That's pretty sweet. It's got an awesome exhaust note. We're going to be cutting it on here in a minute. Um, towards the end of the video, I'll be looking at the paint, checking for chips, scratches, rust, whatever there is. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. We mainly do muscle cars, hot rods, custom builds, projects, and uh, show you what's wrong with them before you get here. You can go to maplemotors.com, look at the detailed pictures. Financing and shipping is available. For now, hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off on any test drive, we'll look around the interior. Usually place the bets on the horn. We can still on this one if you want. It's a little bit newer, so I bet it works. Got some cracks in the dash there, missing a little piece. You could tell they had an aftermarket radio in here, the way they cut the edges of it. Then start her up. Radio works, just a little nub for the knob. Blower motor. Blower motor is working. I don't think the AC is. Showing 153,000 miles on the dash. Let's zoom in on it. Try our wipers. Working. Windows. Locks. A little slower on that one. This window. Horn does work. Piece a little loose there. I guess they had it hooked up to something at one time. Air pressure. May have been some air ride on this one. I do believe they mentioned that it was an air ride truck at one time. Let's see if I can get that back in there. <laughs> it's not hooked to anything. Just want to check all the compartments. Get very good looking. See what we got working with here. Tinted windows, kind of purple. Headliner looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the road. Yeah, definitely had air ride. Look at this. Get the gauges there on the pillar. We'll go ahead and hit the road and see what else we can find. Got y'all in the window here. We'll go ahead and put our seat belt on. Roll out. I've never driven an S10 of this model with an LS motor. I assume it's gonna be pretty fast. really peppy out of the gate. Speedometer is off. I think it's off by about 10 mile an hour. Steering wheel's not perfectly straight either, but it's tight. Good steering. It's not pulling left or right. This thing definitely sits you back. That's pretty cool. Let's test the brakes out since the expedition's going so slow out here.
Okay, got y'all in the window. Um, it looks to me as a service engine light is on, but I kind of wonder if it's on because that's not the motor that came in this. <laughs> Get ready to pull out here. I'll try y'all up in the window. I was gonna try that because uh, the sun is sitting a awful angle right now to just blind you throughout the whole video. Let's see what it does now. working there. I'm going to angle you up just a hair. So all our vitals on the dash look good. Look like 45 pounds of oil pressure right at 200 on the engine temperature. Uh, gas gauge is working. Looks like we're charging. Speedo is a little fast. Uh, we also RPMs seem like they're pretty accurate there. Tachometer. Steering wheel a little crooked, but it's going straight. It's not pulling left or right. Heat is definitely working. Woo! Yeah, I think that worked out better for the video, putting you over here on the window when it comes to the sun blaring through the front windshield. Never glared up. Suspension's not bad, especially for it being lowered. Woo! It puts you back in the seat. There's a bump there we just went over. And it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It didn't shake me to death. Man. I like this truck. It's fast. This dash piece would be easy to find online too. Pretty sure all this just unclips. No, there's a screw in this one. Yeah, it unclips around the radio face there, and then you can get that whole piece. I'm surprised they didn't do that. We're getting ready to pull back into the lot and then picking out the flaws that's coming up next. So stick around for that. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. y'all here in a moment. Okay, we're gonna walk around this ride. Any little chips, scratches, dents, whatever I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures are on our website at maplemotors.com, so go there and check it out. Let's get started up front here. Little scuffs at the bottom, like little scratches and stuff. Crack here. Same with the middle, and the bottom. This side's got a little spot too. It's very low to the ground. You see it being easy to hit stuff, that's for sure. Oh, excuse me. There's a crack right here in the grill. Scuff on the side. Aftermarket headlights. A little moisture in this side. Same with this one. Light scuffs. Minor stuff around the fender there. Coming on to the back. Little chips. Scratches. It's like the paint's a little thick back here. The paint runs. Just here in the back. Back your midsection. Tail light like there. A little loose on the inner part. light scratches on the side here up here in the front too a little hazy a 
Front windshield on this one on this side looks great. I don't see any big chips or cracks. Mirror, not bad. Little glue there. Uh, I guarantee you they had the little visors around the windows. Scuff. Spot in the back. Back window back here. I don't know what's on top of that glass. Something's on the glass. Huh. Ding right here. Cover. Up on the back. Your tailgate's got little scratches all over it. Little chips. Also back here. Oh, you can see where they weld on the bed. So yes, this one has had a ride at one time. It does it now. A magnet tag there. Coming down this side. A little scuff there in the corner. Like scuffs on the side here. See down in the back. The bottom too. front edge of that door a little hazy I noticed a bunch of haze spots in the middle of the door here dent right here that's where it was just all in this area light little scratches on the back here Top of that bed rail is covered in scratches too. There is a bunch of them. Dent right here. over the roof here slight dent your front windshield the side looks all right not bad let's go ahead and check out the interior and of course we'll get her started up Door panel on this one. Doesn't seem too bad. You do got a screw here. Uh, looks like a crack down in there. Another screw, another screw there. The panel's holding on good. I'd say with that many screws. Got the back door. Bag back there. Seat on this one's got wear. Little rips. Consoles tight. Little holes here on top where they had some 
gauges or something mounted. Passenger door and passenger seat look great. Go ahead and start her up. Again, the dash has got some plastic pieces busted out there. Top of the steering wheel is showing some signs of age, some wear. up front insulation still all good and it's locked hazy in that corner there I don't think it's gonna pop up though missing the squirters top of the hood. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I try to pick out the flaws so you know what you're getting. There's detailed pictures. MapleMotors.com. Financing shipping is available. And I'll see you in the next video. Later guys.